TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen. You know, you see the title, so we might need it. <laughs> uh, don't forget, we also got Patreon. We post five to seven days a week. And we post a lot of videos now because we do Premier League highlights. Check into it. <laughs> don't forget, man, we also got Twitch.com, man. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. This is Police Interceptors. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. You know, I had to, this, this video is three hours and th you see it right here at the bottom. Three hours and three minutes. I had to scroll through all of this before I got on here to see if it's stuff we haven't watched. We watched all of it except for this last one, I believe, man. Yeah, Occasionally get negative occasionally interceptors enjoy an uneventful shift but not today <laughs> get negative yes, it. duty police officer has had a sighting of a, a chap uh, wanted male is wanted for some quite serious offenses so just dispatching us all you said an off-duty police officer all to at the area He's linked to quite a few serious, uh, serious assaults. I think he's wanted time three uh, of causing grievous bodily harm. Rob and Spence aren't the only ones on the hunt. Great. Interceptors are out in force looking for the notorious suspect. Yeah. Bro is notorious. He got three out of five GTA stars. I ain't gonna lie. He said times three wanted. Never even heard of that. I didn't even know it was a scale for it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sure. Hey, what was the uh, clothing description, please? But the trail's gone cold. Hello, H from uh, Oscar Fox Drop 58. And suddenly. Police emergency. It's all change. Hi, yeah, I'm on um, Bales of Faith in Clifton. There's something going on outside. They're um, breaking windows, they've got knives and everything. It's got knives. Yeah, there's someone with a big knife, they've got a sword, and I think it's a machete. Someone's just broke the windows and now they're chasing him in the car. Oh, quite, okay. quite scary. It was Uncle Drive, fam. Uncle, Uncle Drive. Quinn, people with knives and swords and the windows going in. Wait, what part of town are we in? <laughs> it's a little bit ratchet out here today. We had three stars in GTA now, it's a whole street sword fight out here. And what, uh, okay. All four cars and uh, Oscar Deltas, can you start travelling that way, please? It's a nailed on firearms job. These are swap drivers. And as operational firearms commander, Lee will call the shots from the passenger seat while Paul gets to grips with his driving setup. Oh my god, how am I supposed to drive this? Really fast. Oh, see on this channel. Operational commander is in place. Can I just ask someone point to point the dogs and uh, ask them to come onto this channel, please? Yeah, no worries. Dog handler Jen Else is en route. What's a quantum Two, please coming? Six, six, Mary, please. I feel like this would be a good, good place for Lisa to show up too. Thank you. It's going to be a lot of officers there doing a lot of hard work. As our fellow firearms cops, including Lisa DeSantis. Mm -hmm. it's like y'all ain't even got to you know what I'm saying? I felt it. I felt her vibe approaching. That's all. And Lewis Marshall. Yeah, we just wanted to swim, come in. Right, Lewis, you, you don't need your presence. Well, whatever. And the OC arrives on scene to find his team armed and in position. You know what? 
Mm. Yeah, now this the least I like. This, this shit is what man. I like to see. Hold on, turn. Huh? Yeah. Talk to him, Lisa. Not. Mm. See, it hit different when she got the blink on her. It's a whole nother person. This was she come to work for, not to chase people. But there's no sign of men with machetes. Yeah, there's no one out on the street at all um, at the moment. Uh, there is damage at uh, one of the addresses. Intel describes three men, one with a machete. All right. Two of them fled in a Ford C-Max. Lee, it's that. State zero, state zero, everyone down here, please. Gray C-Max, one o'clock. One of you get in your car. Gotta... Stay there. Get in the car. Right, just keep your hands where we can see them. Right, keep your hands where we can see them. Two occupants are in the crosshairs of multiple assault rifles. Him on the right. Like I see everything that's going on, but I'm looking for Lisa, and she's trotting up. I see oh, it. Right, right, keep your hands where we can see them. Yeah. We've had somebody's been said as having a knife here. Right. Uh, I live there, man. Right. Uh, Come around the front of the car. Look at me. Do exactly as I said. Yes. Yeah. 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 Who's got a knife in here? Sorry? It's one of you two got a knife. It's in the car. Look to me. 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 Face down. Faced with this firepower, the man who allegedly had the machete takes the sensible option. Just stand by. We'll just... Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Definitely. They got a lot of stuff that hit hard, too. Curing these two males uh, and uh, making sure the car's clear. Suspect secure, Paul and Lee check the Ford and find not one blade, but two. Yeah, there's two. There's a knife and a machete. It's a nice one. Dang. And a baseball bat. He even says bat on it, just in case you're in any doubt. Yeah, we can pretty much come to the conclusion that both of them going to jail. But you know what? Let me retract. I don't know no more. You don't care what everyone's roles are at the minute. The occupants claim that they was trying to holler at her. They were the victims of an attack, and the weapons were used to defend against a man with a sledgehammer. They alleged they've been a victim of something, but obviously they've been wandering down the road brandishing knives. Blades like these are never okay for self-defense. So what? Two have been arrested. So what is the appropriate blade then for self-defense purposes? If somebody's charging at me and I know I cannot outrun them and they got a sludge hammer, what do I do? Because that's a deadly weapon. What, what do I do as a UK citizen who's in fight or flight mode, but flight is not an option because I'm slow? What do I do? For the possession of the weapons. But the man alleged to have attacked them is not someone to take lightly. The report is that he's the named defender. He's the named defender? So now he got four GTA stars? Looks like this may be the work of the interceptors most wanted. The report is that he's walked off and I've given them a direction that he's walked off in. Their notorious suspect is at large. Let's keep it real though, for all the street people watching, like they snitching, 100%. They're snitching. Keep it P, I'm being quiet. I'm getting my lawyer and I'm gonna tell my lawyer what happened and then they can relay it to them. Self-defense. Reportedly armed and intoxicated. That he's either got a sledgehammer or a baseball bat of some description. That's cool. Oh, but I don't know if them is some street dudes. They could just be really defending themselves, like, as law-abiding citizens. If they law-abiding citizens, they not snitching. They just, you know. Because the damage to that vehicle. Keep your hands where we can see him. The firearms have been called to a... H. With the gift, with the tier one gift of sub for Brindy, who will obviously deserve it. A street battle been an attack. Or by some description that's caused the damage to that vehicle. The race is on to find him. 
So at the moment, three cars and the dogs are out looking for him. Armed response vehicles and dog units comb the area. They've been after this man for months. He's known for violence and stuff, exactly this sort of thing. But time after time, he slips the net. He's a driver too? <laughs> He'll be laying low, won't he? Not yeah. Long. This morning... No. ...is no exception. Bro is drunk with a sledgehammer walking around and y'all can't find him. This is incredible. He probably went to the paint shop and changed his clothes. It's GTA, ain't it? It's mid-afternoon. It's a bit warm. It is. No sooner than Rob and Ian leave the Nick, they're blue lighting it to chaos in Clifton. So we've going? had a report that one of our... Chaos is a strong word after what we just experienced. Usual suspects for um, vehicle theft and burglary and various other things uh, appears to be going on a, a bit of a uh, drug fueled rampage at the moment. It's the man they've been after all day. Are we still on the we same We do really person? need to try and catch him um, before he commits a load more offences. The suspect's been spotted in a white van, which brings its own challenges. Oh, he's driving. Okay. We've had several quite high-speed pursuits with him. Um, he's he's not uh, adverse to taking quite big risks. Really long. So T pack maneuver is not the maneuver for you. I mean, what y'all gonna do? Like to try and catch him on foot if we can. They approach the area of the last sighting. That's the van. It's parked up, unattended. I'm just going to try and get a, just got to spin around, have a look, try and get a, a door number. That's him right there. They're relying on their suspect drawing attention to himself. What tends to happen is it's, it's probably not very long before he commits another crime. Stand by. But the search stops. Ooh, the emergency. For a 999 from a pub a mile away. A young man walked in. He's absolutely wired off his head. He's um, an absolute freak loop. It's their wanted man. Oh, here we go. He's at the crusade. Is he running? How'd he get there that quick? Oh, Zulu Fox was. He's kicking off at the Crusader. He's trying to pick a fight. Reportedly terrorizing staff and customers. Is this this water man trying to intimidate people? Yes. Yeah. Literally the roundabout at the end of the evening. And he's one of those fellas that's probably going to kill somebody. Mm, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, he in the right bar. It's a lot of calm working people in here that. They're just trying to get on with their day. He would have went to the wrong bar. He would have been on the floor somewhere. Guaranteed. Yeah. He's a It's a one minute drive for mortals. From Zulu 5, can we just confirm the offences from the original job? Rob does it in 30 seconds flat. But they may be too late again. He's run out. He's been chopping over the fence. One fence. Yeah. yeah. There he is. There he is. Where? Stop out. Stop there. Stand still. Stand still. Right. Put your hands on that railing now. Put your hands on the railing. Taser's drawn. Put your hands on the railing Put your now. Hands on the railing. Put your hands on the railing. Get your hands on the railing. Do as you're told. He's keeping a hand free for his ciggy. Get your hands. I was about to say that, bro. Got a whole cigarette. Behind your back. What are you doing? Get your hands behind your back. What are you doing? But complies at last. Do you, do you tell you to as you're told? I've done that. And he's nicked. I've done that. Okay, just, just, yes, sir. So why are you doing that? Get him out of the way. Go to be honest. For what? Let's get him out of the way and then yeah. Go this clear door. You've been arrested. We'll tell you what for in a minute. Come on, man. What am I doing? Bro is acting like he ain't did nothing. That's what I would do too, but I'm just saying, like, golly. The suspect protests his innocence. I've, what have I done wrong? I've not done that wrong. Well, you. You're honest, Nick, and taking it out. I've not done that wrong. You can do, mate, yeah. If you can take him down in this, yeah, What have I done wrong? 
You're, you're alleged to have uh, caused quite a bit of criminal damage earlier on what? today. Yeah, and then uh, I think there's some suggesting you've been in possession of offensive weapons as well. Listen, that's a joke, mate. So take me to the police station. Well, let's go. As you wish. Oh, well. Result in the end. Got it. Uh, I only think he gonna get in trouble for um, his previous, if they have warrants out, and he gonna get in trouble for maybe what he just did at this bar. Anything else, I feel like, nah. Or just that one incident, they might be able to be like, nah, there's not enough proof. We've got him. We are very happy to have gotten him out of the way. Once he's high on drugs and, and you know, he's had a drink, he just won't stop. He'll be causing problems all over Clifton. The reports we've got going off from the pub, it's exactly what he's gone and done again. Come in here, thinks he can jump over the bar and do what he wants, intimidates and frightens the landlady, and then some brave member of the public in the pub has uh, tried to stop him from doing that, drag him back over the bar, uh, at which he's threatened to slash his throat. Just goes to show just how dangerous he is. Um, so I'm exceptionally happy that this person's off the streets. Cracking result. The driver of the car with two blades was found not guilty of any offence, while the passenger was convicted for possession of a knife, machete and a baseball bat. Did they put it all on him? He got a four-month suspended sentence. The notorious suspect... Four months suspended sentence. If it was self-defense, he shouldn't even have got that, in my opinion. He said, I live here. I, went, I could have went in the house and grabbed these, but they was hidden in the car. So. Arrested outside the pub, was convicted for criminal damage, possession of Class A drugs and threatening behaviour. He received 20 weeks at Her Majesty's pleasure. Four months is... We're going to take you for a search under the Misuse of Drugs Act, all right? Nicking drug Baby dealers is about being in the right place at the right time. Right, you're under arrest, mate, in connection to supplying a controlled drug. Do you understand? Yeah. So it pays to know where they operate. There's a woman on the bike waiting. phone out maybe waiting to score we just don't know we're trying to keep tabs on her gav hall and dan mottishaw have spotted a suspicious cyclist in a known drugs hotspot you can have one yeah, I can. dan sneaks closer to keep eyes on the suspect trying to get the while gav off. calls for backup from the next street if it's possible we can have one unit road and then one unit to go a bit further down. An Audi's pulled up and the cyclist has jumped inside. 10-4. Um, mate, I'll just have to get behind it then. If everyone is in agreement, I'll just shut it off. They need to cut off the Audi's escape route. She's in the car. She's just gotten out of the car now. So on the quick, please, everybody. The user's walking away. The car's about to move off. It smells like a drug deal. She's scored. Somebody grab her, somebody straight to the car. Wait, that's... Dan's in two minds. We've got her. Dan, you stay in front of the car. Stay in front of the car. Where's she? Where's she trying to pedal off? Girl, come on now. That's real C A R. Wait, C R A C K head energy. But Gab takes charge, marshalling the cavalry. Right, let's get her secured and let's get him secured. I'm good. Just pass me hands for me. Yeah. Just give me, show me hands, show me hands, yeah. okay? He has a wedge of cash in his hands. She's just gonna have scored. He's got cash in his hand, mate. So right. Yeah. Right, jump out of the car for me. We're strip searching, mate. One second, let me jump out then. Jump out the car, jump out the car. Uh, He's barely had time to think. Let me put my handbrake on then. All right. But Gav spells it out. Is it? You're going to be detained for a search and a strip search. OK. We, we suspect that you've just supplied controlled drugs to that female. OK. You're detained for a search, you'll get a copy of the search record. OK. And PC Gav will take hands police station. You understand what's going okay, on? OK, yes. I you got to finish on top of me? No. Nothing at all? Just that. Just that? Yes. He's offered up two phones. Two phones on him, burner and normal. 
This is a drug dealing hotspot. That female there we suspect is a Class A drug user. She's been waiting on the street corner. This car's pulled up. She's got in the car. She's only been in it for probably less than a minute. Got out. He's got cash in his hand, two phones. We suspect he's probably supplied her with some controlled drugs. <coughs> right, pop over to you for me, mate. You all right? Suspected maybe just been a drug deal take place. That's why you've been detained for the moment. Oui. Just here. What was all that about with her then? I know her from. Do you? Yeah, I do. All oh, right, okay. Right, so we're going to search you, mate. Nothing on you. Nothing on me. You didn't need to do them so tight, did you? Obviously? They're not tight, mate. You saw me with your hands. Look, I can get loads yeah. of fingers in there. They're not tight at all. <coughs> right. That's my credit card. Okay. Yeah. So okay. why are you just on me like that for? Gotta make sure yeah. you don't get away. Yeah. I spy an iffy bag. That. Not an officer, much. What are you don't grabbing me for? Don't try and grab me. That's dark. Dan's done 11 years on the force, nicked dozens of dealers, and knows something dodgy when he sees it. Stop right there before we go any further. Uh, uh, Y'all know what's coming, man. In, 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 in. Where was that? His pocket. His pocket. Wraps of powder. What is it, Class A? No. Just step back a minute. The suspected dealer's getting irate. What's him set for? Oh, we Keep go, on. man. Just stay there, mate. Mate, stand where you are. Don't start moving around. Right. Don't start moving. All right. Mate, don't start. All right. Do All not right. start. Don't... Hold on. Just start All trying right. to push him right. in. Yeah, right. you're under you arrest, on mate, on suspicion of possession. All right, they want to show him again, so. Possessing okay. Class A drugs with intent to supply. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, something which you later allow in court. Anything you do I'll say do may it. be given an evidence. The reason for your arrest is so we can conduct a prompt and effective investigation, all right? Yeah. Um, Peewitz. She can come in for a possession and we'll take the phone as well. The woman on the bike is also getting nicked. Sitting there for one second. Like got He's got some heroin on job. him. Enough to suggest he's supplying it. See, that booger sugar is a functional. It's functional. You can go to work still. And that's what she looked like she would have to do tomorrow. It's definitely what's happened. It's a drug deal. He's probably handed her a, a wrap and it's probably Allegedly. in her underwear right now. We'll find it if it's there. Back at St. Anne's. They want to do it again. More editing. Nick, they review the. I'm not going. I don't want to edit this video, y'all. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. The evidence found on the suspect. This was the cash that he was holding in his hands, which is probably the. Well, I'd say it's definitely the cash that he just took off the female in the car and giving her some drugs because I, I guarantee that she's going to have some drugs on her when they get to custody and this is the cash that was already in his pocket then there are the multiple wraps of heroin these are 20 quid each then she's probably just bought two big look at them the woman on the bike is under you're right man Investigation for possession with intent to supply after suspected Class A's were found on her. The suspected dealer, nicked with a fistful of dollars, is under investigation for possession with intent to supply Class A's. Plus, possession of Class B's, following a search of his home address and drug driving after testing positive for cocaine at the nick. Still to come... No editing for me, y'all. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. They didn't give him no time. We didn't see the time. But yeah, he definitely got five to seven for sure. She got like two. Cops have many ways to stop a menace on the road. I am behind the vehicle. There's the tea pack. What's on? What's on? Stinger. Or tactical contact. But motorbikes pose a unique problem. Pull over down here. Turn off. Pull over down here. They're nippy. Turn off, mate. The vehicle's still playing stock. Currently medium risk. And we are right, right, right. 
See, it'd be the riders that be doing all this that make it bad for the law-abiding riders. And I'm not saying that I'm a law or by a law-abiding rider or this type of rider. I'm pleading the fifth. But I will say that one side makes it bad for everybody. Pikes are met with a lot of aggression. Risky to pursue. He's wearing full protective gear and a helmet. And they often travel it. Ev Kim, Evo, appreciate the follow. And yes, that is I. Do fast. Because motorcycles and quads are a lot more maneuverable, a lot more difficult for us to, in theory, get hold of. They'll congregate more and be in slightly less sphere of what the old bill can do. But to bust a myth, to say we can't use our stingers to uh, get a result. You can't right now, but there's something that's probably going to happen that's going to be catastrophic. And uh, some officers going to lose their job because they're going to be scapegoated. But eventually, just g give us some time. That will not be a thing. I don't believe it. I don't believe that can remain a thing. By uh, deflating the tires of quads and motorcycles is a myth. We do have that tactic available to us. If I'm going 90, you could throw a, a spike strip at me. Like, come on, be, be realistic. I'll still have a go. At I'm pretty sure, like, I'm my bad. I'm pausing like a mud. I'm pretty sure, like, they got to use discretion at their own discretion. But some of them, you know, are equally as smart as a rock. So, you know. Um. Get tough. It's Halloween, and though werewolves are thin on the ground, something's haunting the streets of Nottinghamshire. We've just had a few reports: a large group of like off-road motorbikes and quad bikes thrashing it round all the streets in a massive group, weaving in and out of all the traffic, not sticking to any of the rules, so they're not stopping for red lights. I'm gonna let y'all know in Chicago, this is not a thing. On certain days, like where, where the bike holidays, wherever they, they made up these days, boy, it could be like 300 bikes getting off uh, 95 going into the city, going in between cars. You, police not bothering them. <laughs> police is not from the stop, not even from the beat, like not even from the turn of light on. Not in Chicago, nah. You got to really be doing something diabolical. Or you got to be a known offender. And there's no shortage of them. 30 to 40, I think, was chucked around at one point. Um, there is a, a lot of them. There's possibly a group of them uh, crossing way West Dale Lane sort of areas. Um, anyone can just do a scat up that way, please. God, they're getting about, aren't they? The pack of marauding motorbikes are split into smaller groups that are now terrorising the town. So they're heading towards Collick Loop Road then, aren't they? Uh, possibly back towards the city. En route to the centre, there's a sighting. Zulu 2, we've got three motorcycles to the near side pavements, through red lights, in like not just to follow towards the ice arena. Yeah. Here yeah, with you, can we get anyone Mamba Street plotted with a stinger? Zulu 2, we're just off Mamba Street, we'll try and find somewhere suitable. Stinging's all about stealth. They need the perfect spot to lie in wait. I feel like this is a waste of time now. Tell me if I'm wrong, they said it was a group of 50 something motorcyclists. You sting one motorcyclist and be like, oh, you did it. And we go to court and it's thrown out because there's not enough proof. <laughs> there was, fi you said 50 motorcycles and you singled me out to be there? I never. <laughs> behind the bus. Might go behind the bus. And they think they found it. Can I put the marked car in here? Yeah. Sees, yeah. Just yeah. Put the marked car in there, look. From Zulu 2, um, we're just trying to set up a stinger site. We can get some hard cover from within the walls of the bus station or even buses themselves that are static. Okay. Armed with a suitcase full of spikes, Paul heads for Mamba Street, while road bikers continue giving cops the runaround. I just had a quad with an XBRM, went Little Tenny Street, and there was a little tiny alleyway just wide enough for his quad that he's gone down and everywhere he comes out. Take out the tyres of one bike and you send a message to the rest. Get out of Dodge. I, okay, if that's what they're trying to do, send a message. Like, nah, they can't pop your tyres. Don't play with them. Off the side of the roundabout. Off the side junction, through the junction. I'll try and give you a heads up. They're heading this way. Just going past 
uh, Evelyn Street from the near side. Stinging a car is tough enough, but bikes swerve much faster. Paul's timing must be bang on. Are we happy these are good for a sting so I can get them? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. It's a go, and here they come. Well, that's a piece of bike, too. Boom. Direct hit. One of the four bikes is stopped by the spikes. Paul stops another. Bro, do you know how pissed I'd be? Oh, off the bike now. Come in here. Hey, hey, hey. Well done. As the cavalry rolls in, he faces down the stung suspect. Calm down, calm down. What have you done that for? I've stung your bike. Why? Because we're having loads of reports of everyone tagging around the bikes. Illegal. You might be legal. And I was riding perfectly right. normal. If he really was. He was riding perfect. This is what I mean. Like, you're not going to be able to prove whatever you're trying to prove in court. Normal is antisocial driving alongside three other bikes. Before you start with your excuses, well, I, wouldn't do I was offside to offside with you at the roundabout back there when yeah. you sped off racing the quad. So don't come me. I crap. wasn't racing right. no quad. Don't come so no point at me, pal. Bullshit, and isn't it? If you've been seen, NH Oscar Fox Trot 02. Have I been recorded? But the rider also denies having anything to do with the four bikes. It was just coincidence they were right in front of him. What I suggest you do is ring your mates and tell them to get out of town because we're just going to keep doing this all night. Dude, they're not my friends. I've just packed them in. You're absolutely full of crap. We've just been following you, right? So that, Listen, cut it. I cut it. It's boring. boring. It's boring. I've just talked to me. You've pulled over because you've seen me get in. That's boring. why you've pulled over. Listen, gents, I'm not in. But why are you riding with them then? Why are you riding with them then? Because, do you guys... Okay, they don't understand bike etiquette. If you see some bikers... You can tag along with them if you're solo. They let you. Like, man, I ain't, I ain't got nobody to ride with. Can I ride with you? Cool, come on. That don't mean I know them. This is just bike life. This is just some two-wheel stuff that it happens. When you go to a car meet and everybody rides out, do you think everybody knows each other at the car meet? No. It's the same situation for a bike. A completely different group of lads. Mate. Oh, I'm not an idiot. Don't treat me like one. You ride around in a group of idiots in town on quads and motorbikes going through red... It's arguable. You're not going to be able to prove it. Unless there's AMPR cameras watching. Bikes and being antisocial, this is what's going to happen. Of end of chat. Of course, of course. End of chat. Of chat ended. Paul delivers tonight's message to the stung youngster. Hey, if you know anyone else who's out, ring them and tell them to go home. Because we're going to be doing this all night, all right? I haven't known anyone else for that. All right. Well, you've been in a group, haven't you? If you, I'm, I'm not saying you do know him. He says not. And just tagged on. We Kawasaki, man. That's like a 2000. I don't like Kawasaki. That's it. I ain't gonna say it's weak. I just don't like. It. No, sure. I've rid up here. Right. The quad has come past me, so I don't know how right. I'm racing. So, the quad. so he's he's lying, is he? That he's seen yeah, you racing. I don't know how I'm racing the all quad. Right. Okay. Well, like I say, if you know him, tell him. He's now looking for help with his tire. So again. Have I got a pair of pliers? Not on me, mate, no. Why? You've got a full-on kit. No, I don't carry pliers, I carry guns and bullets. <laughs> what do you want pliers for? Oh, that's five times a tire. But he's going the wrong way to get the cops on side. Just knock it off, knock it off for a minute while I do this. Oh, so you can hear me. Uh, thank you. You've got a pair of pliers. Hey, why is he not turned off? There you go, turned off. You've got a pair of pliers? No. Have I? But he's got one of these. You're going to be issued with a, what's called a Section 59 for antisocial. For what? The manner of driving has been described to be like that. A Section 59 lasts for one year. One more within 12 months. I'm fighting it 100%. I'm going to court like that was not me. I was not with them. I was a solo rider. I just happened. Wrong place, wrong time. Months and his bike will be seized. It's oh, issued a... to you and your bike. No, he's not and if the bike's caught in similar he's, circumstances um, or circumstances, or you are. Knives. Which we think is, is under a similar manner again, uh, the vehicle you're in at the time will be seized, or if somebody else is riding your bike, it'll be seized. All right. It definitely is some. This is petty, very petty of the car. Well, he's not taking it quietly. You're a plum. Good one. Yeah. The bald headed mate here is a plum and all. A plum, is he? He's yeah. a bald plum. All of you are plums. I, mean, I paid a good little amount for my little bike tires. Lums with a book of section 59s. Winner. Yeah, winner. Chicken dinner. Plum. 
proper pull on. Yeah. Both of you. Big lad, aren't you? Big lad, yeah. Bigger than you, mate. Yeah. Well, not by stature. Jim's an operational firearms commander who was commended for bravery after fighting off a man with a loaded gun. Alright. Yeah. He's not about to be ruffled by Professor Plum. Plum. <laughs> oh well. We'll get out of the city once we get out of my hair. Yeah, you ain't got no hair. And you. <laughs> you don't. You ain't got no air. That's a great comeback narrator. Don't, don't let your bike block the road or anything. <laughs> well, he was an absolute beaut. You plum. You plum. Professor Plum limped home on his stung tyre. His section 59 means he must be on his best behaviour for 12 months. If he no, I would have went to court and fought it. He wants to keep his bike. While this sends a message to other bikers that cops won't tolerate antisocial driving. The clearest statement from Sting and the police since message in a bottle. I did make the mistake of using the phrase that'll get you out of my hair, of which I haven't got any, so yeah. I, 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 I... Yeah, you gotta, be, you gotta do better than that. You gave him an alley-oop and he dumped it. Simple as that. Yeah, no, I'll give you him that. yourself to that. Yeah. But at least he knew the error of his ways, you know what I'm saying? It's Monday morning. Just. Really While Workstop sleeps, Robin Spence hunts a stolen car. Their unmarked X5 is the only thing on the road. How? But not the pavement. Oh my oh. god. Is that a motorcycle? Boulders Another brass, one? one bike with three Burks in balaclavas. Got to males. There's how many males? With three Burks in balaclavas. That's three sets of balls on one bike? Got to males masked up on a motorbike, turn a road works up. Boot it, Rob. Freaky. Where they gone? Look left. Lights out and dressed in black, they'll take some finding. There they are. But the interceptors have been eating their carrots. No VRM, it's Gateford Road. It's still going. Not for long, they're rapidly running out of pavement. Leaving the driver to rob. <laughs> Spence is after the pillion. They look like they might not catch them. Wrong foot, wrong foot. <laughs> the lad has a head start. The officer's talking about some. Ah, that's how you know you're running slow when you make them type of noises. And isn't carrying 10 kilos of kit. Please do not give them any excuses. Which doesn't play well with fences. Literally, he's running in slow motion. The suspect's got the drop on Spence. Still, there's a light come on over there again. But an intruder light may hold a clue. <sighs> the interceptor is putting in the hard yards, but he's lost him. And Spence isn't the only one chasing shadows. Half a mile away, Rob's lost the driver. Y'all both 0 for 2? <laughs> the way they got off that bike though and got loose, I knew y'all wouldn't go catch them. I don't know foot stuff. Nah. Spence, have you got any? No, mate. No, mate. Spence was thwarted by five feet of fence. I was hoping I could have just ripped that fence down. <sighs> it was thwarted by being built badly. And running slow.
You got to work on your legs. Leg day is very important. You Like, yo, you up here, though, with it. Like, ha. Hold on. Y'all can't see me? I ain't help you. It did not help you, buddy. <clears throat> Come to check out some more gardens. Detective Mark Ford might be the Yeah, because he came, that's where. Still ain't caught his breath. Where he came over, isn't it, there? If anyone was here, they're not anymore. Rob's also had no joy and tries one last blind alley. Mate, get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Do you understand? Just, just got lucky. Yes. Get your arms behind your back! Suspected driver nicked. I've got 135. The driver nicked himself. <laughs> Idiot. Rob's got someone detained. You got it on you? Got a bag of weed, mate. Where is it? In the pocket there. Which pocket? In the middle Why would he In here? Yeah. Allegedly. All right. As Rob leads the suspect back, there's news from a few streets away. In the last 15 minutes or so, somebody's reported that two users have been seen on a black moped um, breaking into their car before being made to make off. The, the road, car to road, is only a short distance from here, so... Potentially they're looking out to, to uh, do Hi, some Barry. vehicles over this evening and we've kind of scuppered their plans. With the lad handed over to District... It's uh, 135 North Custody. They check out the trash. Can we rearrange recovery for this scooter, please? I couldn't tell you what make or model it is. It's completely stripped itself all together with rope and tape. Lovely, thank you. It's all right, he'd push it, isn't it? Not the greatest getaway vehicle. Look at the state of it. it it's it's probably it. 50cc at best compared to a 3 litre <laughs> X5. Don't think it's going to win. The Roby scooter ridden by the Balaclava boys was recovered. The land found in the garden was given a cannabis warning. He was not linked to the scooter nor to the reported car breaking that happened nearby. W lawyer. When interceptors come calling, they do it in numerous ways. There's the polite knock. The big gun hello. Oh, police! Come to the door. You've come to no harm. Go. And for sneaky surprise visits, they let themselves in. Police! Police officers! Minor flat or the house? Uh, house. Yeah. Oh, superb. It's Wednesday morning, and after a brief breakfast briefing, the team is preparing to visit a man allegedly involved with the supply of drugs. It's over. It's early morning. They get my planning to get you. Might as well hang it up, buddy. So we need Rossi there, and then from there we'll go. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we're doing a similar thing with it. To get some water boots on. Raids are like bacon baps, a bit tasty and best served early doors. You got postcode, side? Uh, yeah. And speaking of doors, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody has been bald for the last 15 minutes, 10, 15 for the most part. A lot of people have been bald. And I'm bald, so as, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. So when you bald, you can speak like this. Entry specialist Dave has done his homework on the one belonging to today's suspect. And it's a composite door, which is a really solid, difficult to get into door where normally the enforcer, uh, you struggle to get through with that. So we've got some other kit, we've got some tools, uh, some saws. I'm glad I got like a head that was like the shape of my head is cool 
it could be bald, it could have hair, like, well, it can't have hair anymore, but it could pass tense. Like, it look cool with no matter what. Some people is just fighting for their life when they go bald. It's crazy. In this game, it pays to come prepared. And the team approached the property with more tools than Bob the Builder. Flats just around the corner and a swift entrance is vital. Think about a swift entry. Oh, this is a hacksaw. How are you gonna swiftly get through that? Smoke it. Once the big orange saw has done its work. It's all down to the big red key. A tough nut to crack, but not tough enough. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of swift. It's like they was trying to get in the Patty McGuire's door off Shameless. It's an upstairs flat and they pile up the narrow staircase to catch the suspect before he has time to think. We've got a, a warrant, so... Hold on. It's this address. Okay. Is there anything that. in your flat that shouldn't be here or that you won't want us to find? No. Imagine doing all of that and nothing being there. Like, pay for my door. I think he was a bit surprised that we caught him in bed, which is uh, sort of the idea about coming early morning. It's not long before the search team turn up a bit of weed, but it's less than they were expecting. What do you do with the <coughs> Y'all woke up at 3 a.m., went to work, had bacon buddies and coffee, planned out a joint effort with multiple tools To go in for some personal use? A joint? No stone is left unturned. And more greenery gradually emerges. Hold on. Wait, I've seen a large bag. Despite attempts to mask its smell. The surprise suspect is off to the nick for questioning. That looked like dirt. Found quite a, a decent amount of uh, cannabis. I've got a, a quantity of white powder and knuckle duster. Yeah. Can be quite nasty if you were to be uh, whacked in the face with one of them. We've seen some mobile phones as well, which will be looked into uh, to see if there's any evidence on those to support the fact that we think he's supplying drugs as well. All around a successful job. Arguably successful job. The suspect who Dave and Co had for breakfast is under investigation for possession of Class A and Class B drugs. No now. action was taken regarding allegations of dealing, but raids like these send a message to the wider community. The message sent is we'll do Still? the most for the littlest thing. <laughs> We will waste your time. To come. Do you have... Breaks on the road are few and far between. But Phil and Paul have just polished off some muffins. <laughs> but before Phil can sip his hard-earned coffee... Mm, hot crutch. This murk triggers his spidey sense. Oh, good old Phil. <laughs> they tail it onto the main road. Just remember, I've got a coffee here. Oh. There's four people in it. It's all over at road swapping lanes. We'll go for a stop down here. I think I've failed to stop, bro. Coffee's in my hand. Blues and twos have the desired effect, and Phil's precious coffee survives. <clears throat> he got all the way out of the way, didn't he?
I drove you all right. You got a driving license on you? He has a license, but it wasn't minted at DVLA Swansea. Mm. I've been here. Just pull that, take that out for us. Thank you. Oh, chap. Just take a seat out for us. Just come out. Put your handbrake on. Don't want that rolling away. English. No, I understand. A little bit. A little bit. Right. Driving license. Yes. What country? Albanian. Albanian. Yes. Have you ever had a British one? British, no. Yeah, no. Okay. Are you insured? Insurance? It's slow going. He's not named on the insurance, no. no. How long have you been in the UK? Uh, what? One week. One, 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 one year. One year. One year. Uh... Say Albanian. Yes. Cool. Google Translate to the rescue. Do you have insurance for this vehicle? No, for this moment, no. 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 Okay. Oh dear. Also, as he's been here longer than a year, his Albanian driving license isn't valid. I would have said Paul no. suspects he shouldn't be here at all. Has he got your uh, ID card on you? Or passport? Can I see it, please? I'm going to ring immigration. Cool. Immigration's what you need. So while Phil weathers the rain... Oscar Tango 82 and H. Paul keeps dry and calls immigration. Does it say when he came in at all? Oh, they've got to check in again. Oh, right, okay. You got your ID? Yeah, no trace oh, of him at thank all. Thank you. Is that what they say? A fact. I think we've got four okay. Albanians in the car, it turns out. We need to hurry up, otherwise, this coffee's going to be cold. Uh, Kids, just Phil. one second, I'll get my colleague to ask. Phil? Yep. Are they working, do you know? Um, let me a second. He's just going to go and ask. Okay. Are you working? Yes, ma'am. What do you do? Painting. Oh, right, okay. Yes, they work for a friend as painters and decorators and paid eight quid. All right, he's a painter and decorator. Right. Thanks, mate. They've got to go raid the entire <laughs> job Sorry, I'm, I'm sat in the car, my colleague's asked Phil. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing the running. Has he got any family in this country? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you just give him the phone? Do you have any family in this country? Heads of none. So my mate's outside Crazy. checking the car with the uh, driver and it's raining, so I'm sat nice and warm in the car. With the help of this rain-drenched runner, okay. Paul establishes the stone-cold truth. Phil, do you the bad news? What's yeah. that? Hold on a minute. Mind you, don't get wet, Paul. Uh, it's saying he's here illegally, so he can be detained, so we're just going to check the other three. Just a driver, or all of them? Well, we're going to the check the rest in a minute. Marvellous. Running the passengers through, it looks like they, too, may be here illegally. Is it all four? All four. And while they wait for a van, it falls to Phil to distract them. Why was they pulled over in, in the, the first rain. place, though? What's weather like over there? Raining or sunny? Rain, what's doing now, weather? Man, see you. So, yeah. Dull, miserable. Cavalry on scene. Paul finally gets his feet wet. Just under your seatbelt. To escort the Albanian quartet to the van. Take a seat. Okay, I want you to listen to what I'm going to say. How good's your English? Oh dear. It's not good. Not right? very good? Okay, I use Google Translate then. I wonder what they call deja vu in Albania. This is the police caution. It's not Albania. Yes. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> Romanian. <laughs> Albanian, let me change Albanian. it. While Paul and Google grapple with the charges, there's another problem for the driver. Pass me the cannabis. <laughs> Who's is that? God damn it. It's yours. Right. Which is bad news in any language. The Albanian four are off to custody and Phil finally gets back to his coffee. 
That's already cold. I tried to update on the job. I'm glad I put my fleece on now. The Merc driver had his car seized and was reported for driving without insurance, without a license and with defective tyres. He also got a cannabis warning defective tyres. That's insane. And was released along with his passengers to immigration officers. That's the worst part of it all. Phil's cold beverage was destroyed. £3.50 that coffee and I had two sips of it. Uh, but at least I managed to eat me, uh, me muffin. Find a microwave. Why would you waste it? Y'all leave a like, comment. I'm gone.